All right, so this is meant with the most good intention as possible. Eating makes you weak. Now, before you get triggered, let me explain what I mean with eating making you weak. First of all, when you quit eating, what happens is your blood sugar drops, the glucose in your blood drops, your liver then begins to use the stored up glycogen within it to bring the blood sugar back up and eventually your liver runs out of excess glycogen to dump into your bloodstream. Now once the liver is out of glucose to elevate the, the blood sugar, your body has to, you're going to have cold sweats, you're going to have you know, maybe some mental strain, some different things. Your body has to shift its metabolism. Now this is more talking in the realms of fasting because you can, once you learn, once your body can burn the body fat off of your body more efficiently, or you can live with a lower blood sugar rather than being a bodybuilder who eats six meals and you're constantly eating to, to, for nutrition, nutrition and stuff, it, you're more perceptible or you're more susceptible to consuming the muscle from your skeleton, being somebody who only knows how to burn carbohydrates. Once you can, if you can ever, achieve the ability to be on a lower carbohydrate diet while strength training and get that caloric deficit topped up to where you're meeting your caloric needs using mostly fats and proteins, vegetables as well. That's one of the biggest things that bodybuilders and weightlifters tend to not do is even really eat vegetables at all. Your gut microbiome, your gut mucosal layer, all of that stuff, I'm assuming you have an education or of or have at least looked it up and tried to understand these because these processes are processes of your endocrine system, which is your hormone system. Your natural hormone system, you can manipulate just instead of doing the, the jabby stuff, which is not even a long-term solution. It's definitely not the right solution. A little bit of education will last you a lifetime and you'll live to last a lifetime. But the way in which I mean that eating weakens you is it makes you, it ha you have an attack vector. Literally, just the fact that you can't go without skipping a meal makes uses more parts of your day, makes you weaker if you have a boss and a job, because um, you're competing against people like me. I don't take a breakfast and I don't even need to take a lunch. When I eat, I'll tend to eat, you know, 15, 16, 1700 calories, um, and I'll get my protein in, right? So being able to skip meals, not having to constantly eat to raise the blood sugar because you feel like crap with a lower blood sugar, it makes you weaker than me. I mean, you, at least uh, you're competing against people like me. There's a lot of these keto people out there and people who can who under have an understanding of their basic digestive organs and their functions and how to work with the endocrine system rather than against it using exogenous hormones. I believe Gandhi said that fasting crucifies the body and sets the soul free. That's one of the biggest parts to eating makes you weak to this mortal flesh. If you can ever achieve a state of fasting where you are cognitively, you are way sharper, quicker, more clear-headed, faster thinker than those around you. The soul begins to be more euphoric and you can actually feel your soul. I don't know if that makes sense. If you've ever felt it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can feel it in church. You can feel it through fasting and skipping and the abstaining from eating. When that happens, after a certain point of the blood sugar going down, the insulin levels drop. Insulin and cortisol, in they're dominating hormones. When the dominating hormones go down, it allows your other hormones, like your testosterone, your human growth hormone, those spike. Those now can come through and your, your genetics, your gene expression can become 
expressed and manifest a lot more intensely. Your body can recycle the weaker cells, the malignant cells. Um, it can start to express your genetic potential a lot more physically, mentally, and your cognition increase when your metabolism shifts. So those various ways that I described is how I mean when I say eating or constantly eating weakens you. Peace.